Hey guys, Cow here, bringing you another video. This one, of course, is going to be some more goblin farming. Ooh, we forgot to make some. Uh, I noticed that the last time I did this video, I didn't do the composition. So, for those who may be new to the channel, we like having our 16 wall breakers. So we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we need 16, and the rest are our goblins. Just so that we have enough in case we really want to farm all the loot. But if you want to lower that count, definitely do so. Uh, I like having four jumps so that it allows us to have essentially four attacks in. The fifth one is bonus if we maybe do a raid where we don't use a jump. But <clears throat> here we have a really good, easy uh, Dark Elixir raid right here. Lots of Dark Elixir on the outside. Not too sure if we will go too deep here um just because this town hall actually this town hall is pretty exposed if we jump right here uh let's see it might target this elixir so oh this is actually a good example of flame flinger here so we're going to use oh and here's a good example of our archers come on archers save the flame flinger save it oh do your job nice okay we saved the flame flinger and here is an example of why we like the Flame Flinger, because, oh, well, this Archer Tower is so weak, so maybe it's not a good example of it. But, uh, pretty much, it's going to funnel our uh, Sneaky Goblins here, open up a little bit of wall, uh, make it so that we use a little bit less of the Sneaky Goblins, and use more of, yeah, just use less of the Sneaky Goblins, and while getting a little bit of loot here and funneling. So right here, we do get this storage with two flings, which is great. Uh, everything else is kind of bonus. We don't really care too much. That's why we'll throw it into like whatever we want. And now that all this is done here, we can drop the jump completely wrong. I was spacing out. That was my bad. We're going to use two jumps here. And hopefully, let's see where it goes. So it's going to go straight for this collector, obviously. But then now we'll go straight into this town hall. So we're going to get this snipe here. Using two jumps when we don't need to sucks. But uh, it's for educational purposes. And oh, we're hitting a tornado trap? What was that? Was there a tornado trap? What stuck us? I have no idea what stuck us. But we're going to get that there. Uh, there is no way we're getting this. Uh, oh, we forgot this one right here. There's no way we're getting this dark elixir storage. Which is fine. We'll just leave it and save our sneaky goblins for another day. Here it should be one sneaky goblin, uh, one jump used, but a lot of loot for very minimal uses here. I'm just gonna throw these archers to the front here, uh, and we'll wait until they're done, or at least one of them is done. Oh, never mind. We don't have the space. We'll just go into the next one. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Here we have some more external storage. Still very high in the trophies, so people do not protect their Dark Elixir well, which is definitely something that we will be taking advantage of. And let's see, would a wall breaker here be good? The wall break here means that we can jump right here. Let's do some little drawing with our, never mind, okay. We can jump right here, and it should be good. So, let's just drop another wall breaker here. Will they make it? Nice, okay. Let's do a little bit of funneling here, a little bit of funneling over here, so that hopefully we go from the Dark Elixir to the Town Hall. We're going to do something right here, which is a little fancy, where we send in a few goblins here, let them have a few hits on it, make this invisible so that they go stri straight to the Town Hall, and we see that they will go straight to the Town Hall, and no traps are there. So. Losing one invisibility for the greater good of knowing that we won't need to save them with the that we won't need to save them essentially from a tornado trap or all that is pretty good here and we're just going to dip out in a 7k for our troubles. Let's build this and go on next. We have our two archers in case we run into some goodness here. Here we have a Warden King. So this is nice because if we can get to this with the Flinger, we can get that gold, uh, that 
Dark Elixir storage, but other than that, it doesn't seem very great. Uh, we can get a good amount of Dark Elixir here because of how easily funneled it is. So, you know, we'll, we'll go for it. We won't use the Flame Flinger, but this is very easy for us to use two Wall Breakers here and uh, get into the base here. I'm going to use our old Champion to tank for this Wall Breaker. Uh, we don't really use our heroes much, but we have them, so might as well use it. Instead of using a Royal Champion here, we could have just used an Invisibility spell or just used two uh, Wall Breakers. Um, but we have the, the free troop, so might as well use it. going to make this invisible and just let them work here. And if they take it, they take it. If they don't, they don't. Nice, we got it. going to dip out for a nice 6k. And let's go in again. We're running pretty high on the gold. Might need to spend a little bit of that. Um, but it's the nice thing about Dark Elixir farming. You just get all the other loot while doing it. Um, because it's just, yeah. <laughs> it's just how it is. Okay, so here we have some nice on the outside loot. Let's just go like that. Ooh, this is open right here, so let's do that. Will this go here? Maybe not. Nice, it does. Okay, we'll just send three goblins there. There's one on this side. There isn't much in it, but I guess I might as well. Send those that way. Send those this way. Send those this way. I only really need to send one there, but I'm used to pressing the button three times at this point. Oh, where are we going? Going over there? So maybe we'll do it this way. Got our tornado trap. And all the traps there, which is great. Um, and yeah, let's just not send it in the right direction. Send them all here. And we'll make it invisible. And this is why it wasn't too bad that we accidentally dropped our jump spell. Because we're we're down here. We're going to get plenty of... Or we're up here. So we're going to get plenty of bases where we don't really need that, uh, that jump spell. So I'm going to just upgrade some walls here because I like keeping my uh, war weight low. Not that I'm warring a lot, um, I just don't really value the defenses. And when we do value them we can just start upgrading them as needed. <clears throat> okay, here we have a good base with uh, loot on the outside. Let's see if it's worth it past that. Because we need... Because that's over there. We could try... I'm just going to drop the flame finger here. Take this out while I think about things. It's going to get hit by the mortar, but... Uh, oh, I didn't see these heroes. Hopefully it goes left. We'll get some loot here. Clear out this section, then we can jump in there. Is the thought... Uh, I guess I'll do a little bit of drawing while we wait here. But I'm expecting the Flame Flinger to clear out all this. Um, hopefully it doesn't get hit by the King too much. And then once that's done, we can jump a jump spell. Drop a jump spell right here, go all the way in. And the Flame Flinger is opening up all these walls for us too. And the only thing that is stopping us from getting the funnel correct is this gold right here, which is getting taken out by the Flame Flinger. So another great use of the Flame Flinger here. Again, it's very good, it just takes a little bit of time, but as long as you know what you're going for, it should be chillin'. So, unfortunately, they target the town hall first, so I think I'm going to do that. Oh, wow, perfect, but also not perfect. Ooh, is it perfect? Okay, we got a little bit of <laughs> chip there. We'll send the, the goblins here. Hopefully they don't get hit by the poison, that would kind of suck. But it looks like we are not getting hit by the poison. Going to take that out. We still have a K left. Where's that one K? It might be in uh, here, but it's not worth getting it. I don't know where it is. If you can see it, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm pretty sure it was just in that uh, area right there. So, <clears throat> or that CC. Here we have some good loot. Some on the outside. Like it's crazy how. Like, just how much loot you can find. I'm not even... I feel like I'm picky as an attacker, but I i don't think I've really skipped any bases. I've just kind of only gone for every base that's kind of been thrown my way. And we're just kind of farming it up. So, 
I'm gonna keep on chugging here, nice 6k. And yeah, we're just gonna keep on going. 10 minutes in, looking pretty good. This is probably the first base I'm gonna skip in a while. So we're gonna skip that one, nice hole. Always love the hole. And no traps. I want to use my king, but we don't have the... This is this hole right here is really nice for, like, heroes, where you drop all your heroes in and pop the warden. But we do not have the warden. Oh, no traps. Not a single one. That's great. I'm just going to take these out here for a little bit of loot. And then we'll just take this out like that. Oh, we only have two invisibility spells now, I just noticed. So we're going to be kind of hindered here by the spells, which sucks, but... We're already 10 minutes in, so can't be too upset about it. We got our 5-star bonus, which is great. Easy 5 stars. Going in here, it looks like this one's a bad one. Another bad one. And let's go another hole. Gotta love it. I do not like... Uh, let me rephrase that. It's not that I don't like... Uh, what am I trying to say here? So back in the day, right? Back in... Oh, no, wrong way. Back in my day, we didn't have all these fancy siege machines and all that. So bases with holes in it like this were actually really good. Not because the base was any good, but because it would bait your opponent. Now the ba the the hole is like really bad because you can drop a siege machine in there, like a blimp. There's like uh, yeti blimps that can kind of appear in there and take out a big chunk of the base. But especially with the introduction of the warden, you just warden it up and all that. But back in the day, you would there's a saying of you don't you can't crack an egg from the inside. So if you tried to crack an egg, egg being the base. From the inside, the inside being dropping all of it in the hole, you would most likely get a one star. And that's how a lot of low level town halls kind of like pushed. Because they would, when the game was new, you just put a hole in your base and everyone would just like chuck all their stuff in there. And then you'd get tons and tons of trophies, like a hundred plus trophies all the time. Ooh, nice. But yeah, it was funny. Nowadays, you drop a hole, you're getting Sneaky Goblin, and there's not much you can do about it. Um, which it is whatever. I guess you shouldn't be rewarded for misplacing your, your troops. But it is a little bit of a shame that you can't have uh, fun bases like that. But, <clears throat> or now players don't really learn that lesson. And they'll kind of be like, oh, hole good. Versus like, oh, hole, I better watch out for that. It could be a bait. So, whenever I see a hole, I think of it being a bait. But now that I have been sneaky goblins, it doesn't really scare me. Now I'm all excited. So, here, we don't want that one. We're probably going to do one more. My throat's a bit going out now, too. Haven't been doing enough videos, so my throat is uh, not as good at talking. But if you're still here, thank you for sticking it out. Uh, here we have a nice exterior town hall. We're going to use our final jump here. I don't think there's a world where we can... Uh, we can double wall break here pretty easily. We'll go one and then two here. Make it nice. And then we'll send one. Where are we going? Okay, we're going the right way. Haha! -ha. That's why we use a test sneaky album. Because of... Tornado traps, of course. And uh, let's just run it down. I'm going to start hitting. Pop this right before we go get out of his ability. Here we have a nice jump spell if we want to go for it. It might be worth going for it just because... Not because it's a good play or anything, but because we have such little goblins. It might be good, but I think I want to close out the video by... Uh, Getting a good final raid with our one invisibility spell. And two jumps. Dang. Two jump -a -roonies. Maybe we'll get like a jump and then get the town hall with our king or something. Have a little hero dive. 
as the ending here. Oh, nice. We have a 10 k -er. So we'll go like this. And this is probably the first time we're using all our uh, all our wall breakers. I feel like we never use up all our wall breakers to the point where we're actually considering cutting some. We're like, dang, too many wall breakers. Don't need them. But here we have two left in... Uh, Drop the king, tank for the sneaky goblins, nice. So, yeah, we're gonna get that. Ooh, hello, spectator. Saw me stealing your dark elixir. Ooh, did I level up? Nice. I actually don't know. But, we'll finish it up here. Final raid, 17 minutes. The videos have been getting longer, but that's probably because I've been kind of sniping off bases more. The, the trophy pushing, or trophy dropping more, so... That's probably why we're slowly, or the videos are getting longer. Because when we're only going for trophies, there's usually like more thought that goes into each raid. And uh, because you can only really get uh, the easy one stars so often, usually they're not just given to you, but nice, got it. I think we're going to cut it there. Don't want to go too far. I'm going to get a nice 4k. And yeah, let's do some tallying here. Let's see. Are we in the... Okay, so we are about to go into champion 2. Uh, which is great. I think I'll stop at champion 1. Or champion 3. Because I don't really want to go into master. Even though master is good. So. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 attacks once again. We have 5, 12, 18, 24, 32, 38, 39, 46, 52, 53, 60, 64 K, 17 minutes, not too bad. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.